everybody. This is the second episode of Influencers where I'm gonna continue talking about the exhibition Street Art Banksy and Co. On this episode I'm gonna focus on the artworks of Blue which has been restored and exposed in the Museum of Plaza Pepoli and I'm gonna meet you with the second curator of the exhibition, a lawyer, an expert of, uh, on copyright and street art and I'm gonna take you in the atelier of the restaurator of the artworks of Blue. Together with them we're gonna discuss the situation that appeared in which Blue responded by covering his artworks in, in the city of Bologna. If you speak about heritage, you have to speak also about the restoration. And the problem today is that we don't know, for example, how to restore spray can. What uh, Camilo Tarozzi and his team and Luca Ciancabilla has tried to do is to use a very old technique that has been invented here in Bologna in the 18th century on concrete walls. Uh, and so now we know that it's possible to rip off the skin of, uh, of the wall, or also if it's concrete, and to paste it on a canvas. It's really a revolution. It's, we have a big advance. We have, we have totally changed the way in which we, we think about the restoration of, of street art also. We have the results now shown in the, in the exhibition. So we have a little break from the exhibition to have a quick word with Andrea Pizzi, who is a lawyer on copyright and law of art. Who I'm gonna ask uh, what the law say about the, the situation with the restorated canvas of blue. Bonjour, uh, bonjour, bonjour, maître. Comment vas-tu? Bien, merci. Vous. Très bien. Bon, moi, je suis avocat. Je travaille dans le domaine des droits de l'art. Mm -hmm. Donc, je vais travailler avec des artistes, galeries d'art, musées. Alors, la loi italienne sur les droits d'auteur, mais dans ce cas, c'est toujours très similaire à la loi française. Mais aussi les copyright law américain, ce n'est pas différent dans ces situations. Ne fait pas, ne fait pas de distinction sur la modalité de création de l'œuvre d'art. Donc, s'il y a un œuvre avec une caractéristique créative sur un support physique, on peut considérer l'existence du copyright. Mais dans le cas des graffitis illégales, l'illégalité c'est lié à la modalité de création. Donc c'est une création euh, pas autorisée sur euh, un support qu'on ne ménage pas avec le droit de propriété. Donc c'est euh, un support autrui. Et euh, je fais, l'artiste fait sa création dans une situation particulière. On dit que c'est une création illégale parce que c'est contraire à ce, certaines lois. Donc, aussi en Italie ou en France, où il y a le système de droit civil, du code civil, euh, on retient toujours euh, prévalent l'intérêt de la propriété. Donc, si euh, moi, en qualité d'artiste, je fais une, une œuvre illégale sur un mur, mm -hmm. euh, toutes les fois euh, que le propriétaire utilise mon œuvre, je ne peux rien dire. Le propriétaire peut décider de la détruire, peut décider de la couper, peut, peut décider de euh, permettre à une association de détacher l'œuvre et la mettre dans un musée, mm -hmm. etc. So what I understand from my conversation with, with Mr. Pizzi is that if you paint on the property of somebody else without the permission in Italy, eventually in France, yes. your piece of art is becoming a property of the owner. There is association, there is, there is the organism where artist has to be registered and take official permission for paint the wall. When you have the permission of the wall, you can go further and ask for your uh, copyrights if your piece of art is used in a video clip, is sold, is removed, is destroyed. So thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Thank you for oh, the information. You. Exactly. So we, we continue with, uh, with the other curator of the exhibition who's going to explain us a little bit more on the, on the story of Blue. I'm Luca Ciancabilla. I'm a professor in uh, history of uh, art and uh, history of restoration. I'm a professor at the University of Bologna, at the universities of uh, Milan and uh, Florence. And uh, in particular, I'm an expert in uh, art of uh, detachment of the frescoes from the wall. I am the creator of the exhibition together with uh, Cristiano Modeo and uh, Sean Corcoran. For the first time in uh, in Italian exhibition, we can see a lot of uh, graffiti and uh, 
modern paintings detached from the wall. Okay, uh, Luca, if you can explain the story about the restoration, about uh, the communication with, uh, with the artist. Boris, <laughs> my dear friend. My very good friend. It's a longer history. Two years ago, we detached many blues paintings from the wall in uh, two uh, invisible factories. The summer 2014, I wrote an email to Blue to advise him about uh, our project. I did receive an answer. Mm -hmm. What did you write him? I wrote uh, Dear Blue, I, I have an idea, but I wanted to speak about it uh, with you face to face. And uh, I wrote uh, the, the same mail to uh, Eric Arcane, mm -hmm. another artist, but uh, no answer. At the beginning of uh, last year, in January, mm -hmm. we mm, decided to operate in that moment because uh, until the end of the month uh, the wall will be destroyed. After five months I wrote a new mail to Blue to advise about the new situation, about uh, the project of the show. And Blue responded to me Dear Luca, okay, I'm curious. I, I want to see the work, your work and the work of the restorers. Okay, Luca, we can have a meeting in Bologna. We can speak uh, about uh, your job. Uh, you can speak about your project. I want to see. We have taken an appointment, yeah, I think in November, the middle of November. In this bar, there were Luca, Camillo and the other restorers, but no blue. No blue. He didn't appear in the, in the meeting. No. Okay. I don't know why. Okay. I don't know why. Did, did you get any news after from him? Did you get any explanation? No. No. Okay. No. Why didn't Blue say that uh, he did a degree? Yeah. He uh, because uh, in, in the mail blue Say so he's curious. Yeah, curious. Yeah. And uh, okay, we can have a meeting. Mm -hmm. He didn't deny. The, I don't want. I want you not I to touch my work. Yeah. Okay. It's different from yeah. for me. It's different. He wanted a meeting. He didn't appear. But what you would do if Blue say I don't want you to touch my work? Will you stop? Yes. Yes. Why not? Mm -hmm. I want to ask you something else. Is it about Blue? Or is it about the restoration what you have done? Yeah. This is the question. <laughs> this is the question, Boris. Mm -hmm. the, for me, the, the, the real important thing is one. For the first time, we have chosen to bring the blue paintings in the museum, the Museum of Bologna, to conserve to safeguard, to protect, to restore mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Not for the market, not for the money, mm -hmm. not uh, for the world of the collectors, but uh, for an institution, the history, for the history, for this history of art, if mm -hmm. you want. Yeah. For this history of art, yes. Why did you choose blue? Because blue is uh, one of the, the most important painters of this century. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, uh, in this factory, there was blue. How comes the idea of restoration, rest, restorating a street art piece? How? How, yes. How did you came with the idea of, of this project? Blue and the um, street art is one of the most important cultural and artistic heritage of the city of Bologna. I think I, I'm pretty sure most of the people have a question 
and they are afraid that these pieces are going to be sold. Are these pieces going to be sold? Are they going to go to the art market, to the art auction? Are they going to finish on the market? No, no, it's impossible. Mm -hmm. It is impossible. Why? Why? Because uh, we have sailed blue from, from the demolition, the destruction, mm -hmm. not for the market, not for the money, not for the collectors, but for the people, for the museum. Mm -hmm. Look at who is the owner of the paintings right now. Who owns them? The legal owner of the paintings. Free association mm -hmm. uh, that uh, in, the, uh, in the document or the foundation of this association mm -hmm. is written mm -hmm. the association can't sell the paint. Do you give a promise to Blue and to the community that this is not going to be sold? Yeah. Yes? I can, I can do it. Mm -hmm. Are you open to, to invite Blue to meet him and to discuss this situation? Yeah. Dear Blue, we are waiting for you in Bologna because uh, I want to speak uh, with you. And uh, I wanted to introduce you to the restorers. The chief of this operation is uh, Camillo Tarotti, mm -hmm. the restorer, and uh, other colleagues, Marco pa Pasqualicchio and uh, uh, Nicola Giordani. Mm -hmm. the, this operation is an incredible operation, and uh, I'm sure that uh, for you it could be a, a big experience, a new experience. So, again, Blue, if you want to give an answer, you can contact us, you can contact Luca and talk about it. Luca have brought me to the, to the Atelier of Camillo, Camillo who is the restaurator of the artworks of Blue who are exposed in the museum. Camillo, Hello, Hello. Hello. nice to meet you. Nice to meet uh, you. Big, big pleasure to meet you. Can you please introduce yourself to the people who doesn't know you and who doesn't know your work? Yes. My name is Camillo Tarozzi. I'm a painting restorer. I'm working from 45 years in that field. This is my laboratory that you are invited to see. This is uh, the place where I, I've done the first of the paintings uh, of blue that are now in the exhibition. The painting of, of this project are held in an abandoned area and uh, in a few months this area has to be destroyed. So we made an arrangement with uh, Luca Ciancabilla and Fabio Reversi Monaco to try to save them, to conserve them for study of, of the period of the street art. One of the most uh, uh, difficult and experienced things to, to, to do is taking away the painting from the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a, an ancient uh, technique allow you to, to preserve the surface of the painting. And uh, we use that technique to take it out, the, the painting from churches, from museums, from castles. In general, they are called fresco. They are all painted, a composition, chalk and sand in different measures. measures. Mm -hmm. We try to, to make something different because we have uh, to take out, uh, not exactly the painting of uh, blue, for example, mm -hmm. but we have to take out all of the wall. This, this is the work of the artist, mm -hmm. no? Yeah. But I didn't take out the work of the artist only, mm -hmm. I've taken out all of the surface. Yeah. We had to, to arrange the ancient technique to the new technology, to the new Way, so I didn't invent anything about the materials. The mm -hmm. materials are the same that we use to take out Piero della Francesca, for example. Uh, I have taken out Paolo Uccello in a church from uh, Bologna, that is a few meters from here. And this is very easy in front of what we have done here. We have to make a, 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 a mi microclimate, I think yes. they say, yeah. right? Micro An environment. Micro yeah. environment that is perfect for temperature and humidity. We didn't choose uh, December because that was the, the, the best way. 
We chose it because we were alerted by the owners of, of the property that the, the walls should have been destroyed in a few months. So we said, now or never. Yes. And of course it was a, a lot of work, you know, mm -hmm. but because when I say it was detached in, in, in December, means that we began to work in October. So the, the work is a, a long work, it's not mm -hmm. a, a, an, act, an action of two, three days. Mm -hmm. The action that you, you see in, a, in the film during the exhibition takes a lot of preparation mm -hmm. and then also a lot of work after this, work in the laboratory, you know, yes. in, the, in a closed circumstances. We had to cut in uh, four parts, yeah, four parts. All, of, all of the big one, mm -hmm. the big painting. You were taking how many centimeters? I, I took no many, no, no more than one, five to six and seven millimeters. Millimeters of concrete, yes, but when very, you put it in the scale of... Uh, it, it's very strong, yes. very strong. And the crew that has done the work you have seen is five people. Uh, I want to be more precise. We didn't take out the painting of the artist. We have taken out all of the wall. One of the uh, moments of... Uh, uh, of taking out the painting is made with the uh, hammers and you had to fight the resistance of the wall one centimeter after your glue because the glue keeps the surface together yes. so mm -hmm. you have to wait three days uh, to, to protect the, the, this kind of environment and, and uh, I have to say you that uh, our work is in the middle now we should have to put these paintings in a new support, thick like this, and that material is very expensive. Mm -hmm. So we didn't have the, until now, the finance mm -hmm. to, to make it, because it costs almost like the, the detachment. The time you have invested in the project? One year and a half, almost. One year and a half. How many people worked with you in the pro on the project? On the from three to five. Three to five people worked uh, for one one year and a half. Of, yeah. uh, not always. I'm not working every always day. every yeah, day. Always did, yeah. but it was almost always. I gave a, a chance to a few people that are wealthy people. I get a chance to, to speak and to have the community of, of this kind of work. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday here, there was an, uh, uh, here where we are now, mm -hmm. in this laboratory, we, we had a, a conversation about uh, this crucifix, for example. Yes. And, but we are speaking always, not only about this, but our street art. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a, a, a group of friends that uh, now they speak every day about street art, mm -hmm. about our work. With the same people that you discuss art of the 13th century, you discuss blue and street art. This, is, it seems impossible, mm -hmm. but now are the same people. They appreciate the novelty. Mm -hmm. And this is the same novelty they now appreciate in the street art, that until a few weeks ago, a few months ago, they Treat, treat it as a bad thing, as a vandalism, as a demonization of, of, of all of the people who were doing, and nobody was taking care about those people. Now, all of the people of Bologna are interested in the field of the street art. Thanks to? But thanks to me, to Luca Ciancavilla, thanks to, to the exhibition, mm -hmm. thanks to the talking of, of, of the people. So I want to ask you, what is your opinion on the reaction of Blue? His opinion depends on, uh, on the things that are coming out from the newspapers. When we gave out the news, mm -hmm. uh, they said that we were taking out uh, Blue paintings from a public place, but we put the paintings in uh, private places, so people would have to pay see to see them. them and this is the opposite of what we are doing. We have put things private to public. The only thing that we want that is the, the, those work has to be preserved in public, not, not of course a, a private institution to make money in some way. The, the paintings that, that we are speaking about, the, the blue paintings, are in, in an area that is free for free, it's before the ticket, you yes. know what I mean? Do you want to say something to Blue? Yeah, 
What, what would you like? He can change the idea and made some other masterpiece in Bologna. Should be great. Mm -hmm. To he should show his characteristic. The XM painting, for example, is one of the most important painting in Bologna from from the last war, from 70 or 80 years old. Mm -hmm. Very important. I was there two years ago, staying in the street uh, to oblige the, the municipality to not, not destroy because it was destined to, to, to be destroyed. And I, I'm very sorry because I'm from between the people that say that the art ne never had to be destroyed. Never, mm -hmm. never. never no, nobody has the, this right. Mm -hmm. Even the artist? Even the artist. Oh, of course, in his studio he's doing whatever he wants, but yes. that was public artist, so mm -hmm. they don't have to be destroyed.